All right, so this is a continuation of my video from yesterday where I set up WLED and built a DIY strip light for my bus conversion. So today what I've been working on is setting that up in Home Assistant, which is a home automation system that I'm running on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's free software. Um, I am not going to go into how to set it up because that is, uh, there's, there's plenty of other YouTube videos and information online about how to do that. Uh, what I would say though is that <clears throat> you will need to have a router in your RV, uh, much like you would have in your house because um, you have to have a wireless network inside your bus or motor home that uh, all the Wi-Fi de devices can talk to and connect to to talk inside your network. Um, I'm using a Alpha Camp Pro. The reason that I'm using that is because our bus is metal and campground Wi-Fi will not penetrate our bus properly and um, I have a large antenna on the roof that picks up the Wi-Fi from wherever we're at and repeats it inside the bus. Um, that's very much like you would have at home where you plug in your, your router to your cable modem or something like that. The only difference is that the side where you would have your cable modem or whatever is hooked to an antenna, essentially. That I can configure and, and use. There's lots of products available that will do that for motorhomes and RVs. Um, I'm not super happy with the Camp Pro that I'm using. Um, it was about 150 bucks or something like that on Amazon. I'm not going to give it a, a recommendation though and I'm going to probably end up replacing that with something better. Um, anyways, um, you have to be comfortable with networking and things like that in order to get this stuff working because I probably spent about, you know, three hours on it today just messing around. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I got so far. So, uh, this is Home Assistant and it's running on my computer. And, you know, I've added one device here, which is the WLED on the couch. And I can turn this on and off with my web browser. And it's off. There's actually um, quite a bit of information here. Like, I'm noticing that this thing tells me how many amps it's using or milliamps. Um, if I crank this up to full brightness, um, it's using 3,000 milliamps basically which, um, you know, I'll just go ahead and do that here. Well, I'm not doing the white setting, but if I have this on full brightness on white, um, 3000 milliamps, I mean, that's like, it's only 15 watts, right? So that's at five volts, right? So volts times amps is watts. Um, milliamps is, you know, 1,000, you know, it's a factor of 1,000. So this is 2.1 amps at five volts right now. Well, the little buck converter that I bought and showed in yesterday's video has got a max of three amps. Um, WLED has got a configuration that's kind of cool where, you know, you can tell it what um, the maximum amp draw is that you want it to do and it'll just keep your use underneath that. Now, of course this number doesn't agree with this one. This is saying, well, let me re refresh this because I think that is not updated on the fly. Here, 2152. So I do think that uh, if you're going to do one of these, you're going to want to get uh, a higher amperage uh, buck converter. Depends on the length of your strip, but um, I have one that's a little bit bigger that I'm going to use um, in my kitchen 
because I want to be able to get full brightness out of these LEDs. Um, this software, the WLED software, will limit the current draw based on what you've put in here for, you know, the size of your, um, your power supply. Uh, interestingly, or, you know, some of you might find this interesting, like if you shut this off, I just turn the LED off, at rest, it uses uh, 221 milliamps. So not very much power. That's just for the circuitry and whatnot. So that's kind of interesting, right? So if you're concerned about that parasitic drain, you can hook up a power switch ahead of that, which I do have a power switch where I can just shut this off easily. So you're not limited to just using this um, on a computer or whatever. There's um, free apps for your phone. There's an app for WLED that you can use. There's an app for Home Assistant. And all this I've set up so that it's also hardwired. So, you know, you don't need to have a phone to control it. There's a push button that you're able to operate the lights with as well. All right, I made another LED strip light today in the kitchen. And it's controlled together with this one wirelessly. On this one, uh, I've got a blue right now, but I got two strips up there for extra brightness. Let me toggle that on. That's full brightness there. Along with this one. With the blue. If I turn that on a bright white, it'd just be like blinding. 